Hey, this is Brandon with RPG Overviews. Let's take a look at a solo dungeon crawl game called Note Quest. It's been out for a couple years, and uh, it's going to be on DriveThruRPG, of course. Pay what you want, so if you like it, send some money their way. It does look like a very cool game to play by yourself. You need D6s for it. There's another book called Expanded World that further expands, obviously, your adventures. And uh, you're going to create your adventure. So we'll do that real quick. So your race is going to be six. I've picked an elf. And then my class is going to be eight. I've picked a cook. They get two more hit points. Elves get to start off with one random basic spell. And a cook gains one coin for every monster killed. That's cool. It's kind of like you're harvesting pieces maybe from them to sell. And they get a cleaver that does 1d6 damage. And for spell, I've rolled a five, which is lightning. Deals six damage to one monster. So we're already really ready to go. We've got a elf with 18 hit points. They're a cook. They gain one coin for every monster killed. They have a cleaver that does 1d6 damage. And they can cast lightning, which does 6 damage to one monster. Now we're cooking. So what's the name of our dungeon? So it's going to be the palace. I've rolled a 1. I've rolled a 4. The palace of the cold horrors. So that's not great. You've got rules for opening doors. They're going to be trapped on a roll of a, of a 1. You've got segments in the dungeon map. So a corridor, staircase, or room. And when you open a door, you will roll dice and check the corresponding column in the segments table based on where you are opening the door. And it says, like, if you are on a staircase, for any door you open, check the first column of the table. And then the, and the next is going to be the second, and next is going to be the third. So it's going to tell you how to do everything. you got the final room, rules for darkness, and then you got torches. You start with ten torches, and they're going to be really, it says, and it's true, your most important resource. Is going to be torches because they're going to kind of be the thing that you expend in order to do stuff. So, like for open a lock, you can open any locked door to do this, spin one torch, and you'll be able to unlock it. So, very easy. And again, I can see this being played by someone you just want a quick little fix of a role playing type game, a little dungeon crawl, and you can see what's going on. In the city, you can do some stuff like rest, fix your armor, buy torches, and sell items. And then you've got rules for spells, your load limit, your armor, which you're going to want to have because you are going to. Uh, absorb damage with your armor until it's uh, down to zero hit points. The armor has its own hit points, and then it'll be destroyed. Rules for breaking doors, keys and doors, and returning to a dungeon. So combat's very easy. Pretty much, if you open the door without making a sound, you start ta you start attacking first. If not, the monsters in the room they are going to start attacking you first. And all you're going to be doing pretty much is rolling damage. You roll damage against them, they roll damage against you. Whoever runs out of hit points first is the one who dies. And if you lose all your hit points, your character is dead, and your equipment will now be on the floor of that room to re be recovered by your next character. Very roguelike. And you've got some unique abilities here, characteristics of your monsters, stone skin, explosive, fire breath, that they may have, etc. Then you've got dungeons, so it's going to be a lot of tables here, and this is very good. So uh, if you open from a staircase, you roll a d6, and you've roll I've rolled a four corridor with two other doors. So it's going to help you build your dungeon. Uh, there could be a secret passage, there could be a trap, and then what's in the room, the content, and what monsters. So you can see here on the monster, we roll up, I've got a 5, so there's going to be 1d6 giant rats. There are 3 giant rats, so they're going to do 1 damage to you. So you've got 3, you know they're going to do 3 damage to you. And then there's reward, obviously, for finishing, for completing that room. It could be a whole bunch of different stuff. Healing potions, magic scrolls. You might have a boss. That shows up, um, a, a zombie baron, a mad king, a ghost lady, um, two unholy gargoyles. And then you might, there's some armor and some weapons. And then there's going to be a bunch of other places too. Crypts, same type things. Got some art there. Tomb, sanctuary, temple, prison. And then here's your graveyard. Write down the characters that died trying to explore these dungeons. What the dungeon was and what the cause of death was. So there it is. There's no uh, quest. It seems really cool. It seems really easy. I really like this for this cover art here. Um, you just need some D6s and you're ready to go. And of course, as you know me, I like D6 little quick, easy, light role playing games as I've made one myself with Pocket Fantasy. So uh, there you go. There's no quest. Check it out. Let me know what you think about it if you've played it because this one's been out a little while, but I've just found out about it. So thanks a lot.